following contests is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. It is your Friday Night SmackDown main event and the World Heavyweight title is on the line. And making his appearance first, the challenger, the number one contender, the former 16-time world champion, the man who is on the hunt for number 17, the franchise player of World Wrestling Entertainment, John Cena. As you saw in the tale of the tape, the last time Cena and McIntyre went one-on-one, -on -one was on Friday Night SmackDown back on December the 14th of last year, just a few months ago. And John Cena defeated Drew McIntyre on that night. All these months later, McIntyre now finds himself as the champion. Cena finds himself as the challenger. And Cena has certainly been on the momentum side of things as of late. Has built some great momentum for himself on the road to tonight. Back on WrestleMania Sunday in February, John Cena defeated Robert Roode, a man who called him out for a contest on the grandest stage. John Cena, as we mentioned earlier tonight, defeated Austin Theory to become the number one contender for Minneapolis tonight. And just 48 hours ago, Cena hit the Nigerian giant Omos with quite possibly the biggest attitude adjustment we've ever seen in the history of Friday Night SmackDown. Off the top and down of the canvas, I still can't believe it two days later. But Cena is locked and loaded. Cena is prepared as prepared can be. And he better be because he's got a Scottish warrior, or as I like to say, a fire breathing dragon. And of course the world heavyweight champion standing across the ring. McIntyre had a tumultuous 2022 but he turned things around earlier this year by winning the Elimination Chamber back on January 22nd in Anaheim. And if you remember, who were the final two inside of that structure? Drew McIntyre and John Cena. McIntyre pinned John Cena on that night, which secured McIntyre's WrestleMania main event, which of course led Drew to defeating Seth freaking Rollins and becoming the new World Heavyweight Champion. So no shortage of history between the Scottish Warrior, the Chosen One, and the franchise player, the Challenger. But tonight is for all the marbles. Tonight is where it matters most. Past victories and past defeats go out of your mind and you focus on the moment. You focus on the matter at hand. And the matter at hand is the gold that is in the hands of Drew McIntyre. The big gold belt, the World Heavyweight Championship. This is your Friday Night SmackDown main event here at the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's been a hell of a night, but we are far from over. The two all-stars of the blue brand set to lock horns for the most prestigious prize of Friday nights, the World Championship. McIntyre and Cena are ready. Let's send things down to the ring for your official pre-match introductions. Introducing the challenger from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! And his opponent from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre! The stage is set. It is your SmackDown main event here at Backlash. Cena McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship. Cena chasing number 17. McIntyre not looking to foresee his destiny go to the wayside anytime soon. Who is going to get the job done? McIntyre, Cena. The bell has sounded and we are underway for the World Heavyweight title. As we saw in the tail of the tape, and as we see before our very eyes, McIntyre with the size advantage, the height and weight over John Cena. 
quite possibly the strength as well, but you can never count out the strength of John Cena, one of the strongest men we've ever seen in WWE, as he showcased just 48 hours ago against Omos. At the end of the day, McIntyre and Cena, I got a feeling this is gonna be a war of attrition between these two men. We've seen both men go the distance in big match situations plenty of times throughout their career and come out on the other end as champions. McIntyre did it most recently at WrestleMania. The reason he is the World Heavyweight Champion tonight. And Cena get the job done and finally secure his 17th World Championship here in the WWE. That is the question at hand. And we're gonna find out the result in just a matter of moments. McIntyre with the advantage so far over John Cena. And as this SmackDown main event here at Backlash progresses, I want to send a special thank you to everybody watching this at home. Thank you for joining us thus far for WWE Backlash, our first live premiere event of the season. As we mentioned at the top of the show, and as we'll say again, Sunday night, April the 16th, 2023, certainly going to go down in the history books. We are far from over as the World Championship is on the line and the WWE Championship still to be defended. And what a powerbomb by Cena into the cover again to win the 17th championship, not just yet. Cena has been to the top of the mountain 16 times. He has done it all in World Wrestling Entertainment. Money in the Bank holder. Royal Rumble match winner not once but twice. United States Champion. There's very few things that Cena does not have on his accolades, but all he cares about tonight is breaking that record. As McIntyre goes into the cover off the overhead throw to retain the title, obviously early to get a victory in this kind of a matchup. As we mentioned, we'll say it again, this is going to be a war of attrition. I do not see this one going down in just a matter of a few minutes. This is going to be who outlasts the other in the deep waters of battle. When all the marble, all the treasure is on the line, who is going to outlast the other in the end and walk away with the championship of the world? McIntyre sends Cena to the apron. Cena with a nice counter there. This is obviously going to be a power house versus powerhouse matchup. Cena again avoiding McIntyre. Whatever McIntyre's got in mind, Cena obviously, his wheels are turning. And McIntyre for the third time sends Cena over the top rope and just drags him back into the ring on his own accord and sends him down to the canvas. McIntyre having his way with the franchise at least for a moment. And now Drew gonna show Cena in his mind how it's done. Power bomb and sits out with it with a cover to retain the championship and Cena gets the shoulder up again. You know, we discussed this matchup a little bit earlier tonight. And Austin Theory and Cody Rhodes were tearing down the house here in Minneapolis. You gotta wonder if Cody Rhodes, now that he has defeated Austin Theory, is gonna be eyeing up the world championship. Or is Austin Theory gonna be trying to weasel his way back into the number one contendership? Or is somebody else on Friday Night SmackDown looking to step up after backlash? All remains to be seen. Cena taking McIntyre down with that monkey flip. Followed up, but wait a minute. Cena go to the outside. Taking out the bigger competitor. Cena doing what he's got to do tonight to outlast Drew McIntyre and win the world championship. Obviously going high risk, high reward. Not usually in the repertoire of John Cena. We have seen him add many moves to the arsenal. Many moves to that quote unquote five moves of doom over the years, but Cena throwing caution in the wind like that, especially at this age, at this length in his career, just shows you the heart of John Cena, the will to win, and how much he wants to become champion. McIntyre heading back into the ring, trying to outlast Cena. Oh, wait a minute, Cena, I think may have been watching that Theory and Rhodes match earlier. Same suplex, same position, out of the ring and to the floor. John Cena taking a move out of Cody Rhodes' book. I think he had his eyes locked on that contest earlier tonight in preparation for tonight. Able to power Drew McIntyre, the obvious bigger competitor, near damn near 300 pounds over the top rope and down to the floor. And you see Cena, no waste of motion, got the champion back through the ring, followed it up with another power bomb, but McIntyre only allows a one count. That just shows the strength of McIntyre and a Glasgow kiss to Cena. And John Cena, his lights may have been turned off for good. McIntyre into the cover, off the Glasgow kiss, but Cena gets the shoulder up. John Cena getting brought to his feet. His body's there, but nobody 
is home, and Cena gets laid out with the Claymore kick. McIntyre to retain the championship, not just yet as Cena gets the shoulder up. McIntyre went for the kill off the Glasgow kiss. He hit the Claymore, and somehow John Cena survived. We said this was going to be a war of attrition, and John Cena just took Drew McIntyre's best maneuvers out of the hat and threw him out the window. Cena's going to continue to fight, and Cena's not going to go down until he is satisfied with victory. McIntyre whips off the challenger, there's an elbow. Going basic, but going effective. Cena may have got the shoulder up, and as he sends McIntyre over the top rope, you gotta wonder if the lights are on, but is anybody home? As John Cena got his bell wrong moments ago, and yeah, he's got the adrenaline pumping right now. He's fighting Drew McIntyre, but is Cena gonna be able to outlast when this thing gets in a championship round, when we enter deep waters for the world heavyweight title in your SmackDown main event. Hip toss takes out the champion, drops the elbow. And Cena's gotta keep this going, he's gotta keep the momentum here in his corner. Cannot allow Drew McIntyre to get back control. He already got hit with a Glasgow kiss. He already got his bell wrong off the Claymore. He could not afford more offense like that from McIntyre, but Cena drops the elbow from the top. And Cena just trying to muscle up the bigger competitor and drops him with the close, or excuse me, the drop kick there. And Cena's trying to rally Minneapolis, Minnesota to the C-Nation corner. And you see McIntyre starting to feel the effects. Cena muscles him on the top rope. McIntyre able to avoid disaster. You gotta wonder if Cena was going for that attitude adjustment he hit to Omos 48 hours ago. Nonetheless, off the reversal neck breaker, McIntyre not able to keep Cena down. Gotta wonder if that attitude adjustment is what Cena had in mind. The maneuver that kept down the Nigerian giant 48 hours ago. McIntyre clearly had it scouted, but Cena continues pressing forward. McIntyre gets the shoulder up again. What a hell of a main event this has been. SmackDown main event, of course. We still got the hell in the cell to be lowered on behalf of Monday Night Raw and the WWE Championship still to be decided tonight in Minneapolis. Nobody does live premieres. Nobody does pay-per-view quite like the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel as McIntyre back inside the squared circle to lay out the challenger. Now, wait a minute here. Look at McIntyre. I believe he was going for a Claymore kick, but not watching his, or not a Claymore kick, a Kimura lock, but not watching his ring awareness. And Cena saved by the ropes there. McIntyre obviously trying to find an ace in the hole and do whatever he can to defeat John Cena and retain the world championship. Cena kicked out after the Glasgow kiss and the Claymore. You gotta wonder if McIntyre's racking his brain right now trying to figure out what he's got to do to keep the challenger down tonight. Cena get back into this matchup and both men going for a clothesline, but McIntyre's the successor. Hits two of them, and there's a third. And into the cover to retain. I got a feeling that's gonna do it, no! Cena survives again, and you see it's starting to get to Drew McIntyre. McIntyre questioning his efforts right now as John Cena continues to press forward for the World Heavyweight Championship. McIntyre goes underneath. Gut wrench suplex sits out with it. Elects not to go for the pinfall, however. And Cena just trying to use the ropes to get to his feet. And here comes McIntyre with another clothesline to squash the challenger in the corner. McIntyre's having his way, but there's a reversal by Cena. And Cena just throws his body at the champion. This is what John's got to do to get back into this matchup. If anybody knows how to fight from underneath and come out on the other end, victorious, it's the franchise player. He's made a career out of proving people wrong. As Cena may about to be coming up short tonight as McIntyre still not able to put the number one contender away. And Cena just trying to get to his feet. As McIntyre is continuing with this offense here. And Cena, look at him, still not being able to be kept down. And McIntyre continuing to go to the well with what works. Power bomb. And how many falls, how many slams can Cena take? 
Oh, no. McIntyre's going for Claymore number two. Cena avoids it. Cena gets out of the way. Oh, no. Attitude adjustment by John Cena. Into the cover. He might have just caught McIntyre. No. Mamma Mia, McIntyre kicks out. What a night. What a match. McIntyre went for Claymore number two. Cena avoided it and immediately struck with the attitude adjustment after minutes on minutes of high offense from the champion. And McIntyre's down on the outside. Cena's heading to an uncharacteristic position. Cross body by Cena. And oh no, John Cena. He's gonna have to dig down deep. Clear it off the announce table. The franchise clearly, his gears are spinning right now. And he's obviously questioning what he's gonna have to do to keep the world champion down after McIntyre survived that attitude adjustment. This is what the World Heavyweight Championship is all about. This is what the big gold belt means to these two all-stars of SmackDown. And Cena, it hits the axe hammer on McIntyre. The count broken on the referee. Now McIntyre up against the announce table again. And John Cena, use it as a weapon as McIntyre's bell rung, at least for a moment. Cena's just throwing Drew McIntyre all around ringside. And this may be Cena's best shot at the current moment to try to keep down the world champion as he comes off the apron. And Cena may have hurt himself off that maneuver, but obviously trying to do anything he can to win the championship here. Referee at a count of six. Count of seven. Cena obviously can't win via count out. I think he knows McIntyre has got his wits about him, and this matchup continues on inside the ring as Cena, on the momentum driver's seat right now, takes out McIntyre. Cena heads to the top rope. The world champion is just trying to get off those spaghetti legs. Cena's a little far out. I don't know if I would risk this. Not enough. John Cena clearly miscalculating that axe hammer. To be counting his lucky stars that McIntyre still was not aware of his position inside the ring. And Cena heading back up to the top rope. I think he wants to make up for that misstep. He, do oh, he does not, goes for the crossbody. McIntyre counters, and Cena may have costed himself. They don't call it high risk, high reward for a reason. That time there was no reward, and it handed the momentum of this matchup back to the world champion on a silver platter. Oh my goodness, McIntyre sending John Cena for a ride. And if that's not a knockout blow, I don't know what is. Cena gets out again. And somehow your Friday night SmackDown main event here in Minneapolis continues. McIntyre and Cena leaving it all inside of that ring, fighting tooth and nail for the most prestigious prize in the blue brand, the World Heavyweight Championship, a title that's been held by the American Dream Dusty Rhodes, a title that's been held by Hulk Hogan, 16 times by Ric Flair, the Icon Sting, Triple H, the Animal Batista, and so many more. Cena sends McIntyre over the top rope and down to the floor again. Cena knows he can't win via countout. He knows he can't win here at ringside, but obviously his wheels are turning and he's trying to do anything he can just to keep McIntyre down and off the top rope. Almost Cactus Jack-esque as Cena comes off the top and drops an elbow all the way to the floor of this arena on the stardom of the world champion. And somehow McIntyre still breathing signs of life, but not for long. Cena with a slam on the outside. Referee at a count of three. Would hate to see a double count out in this situation. I mean, we're in the midst of an amazing main event as Cena's once again, oh no, set his eyes on the announce table. McIntyre! Attitude adjustment through the announce table! John Cena has come unglued here in Minneapolis and is willing 
to put Drew McIntyre's livelihood at risk to become a 17-time World Heavyweight Champion. McIntyre survived the attitude adjustment earlier. He just got leveled with one through the announce table, but somehow the world champion is still walking on his own two feet. Back inside the ring, Cena whiffs the clothesline. McIntyre, look at the muscle. Belly to belly, and Cena got sent for an amusement park ride. Into the cover, Cena's foot near the ropes there, but referee's gonna count it. Cena gets the shoulder up. And Cena not being able to capitalize off that attitude adjustment may have cost him. McIntyre's got a fire under his ass right now, and if Cena doesn't get up and put out that fire, his chances of becoming world champion are literally gonna go up in smoke. Here comes the haymakers of the franchise. Cena, one of the best brawlers in WWE history, as McIntyre's down, and Cena trying to follow it up, there's an elbow. Cena gets the champion to his feet. What has John Cena got in mind as he sends McIntyre into the corner again? And up top goes the world champion, and my goodness! Doesn't get more brutal than that. Nothing fancy, nothing pretty, just a fall from the heavens as Cena shoves McIntyre off the top rope and down to the floor of the target center. And again, Cena knows he can't win this match by count out, but he's willing to at least stretch to that, stretch that count to at least a nine to get Drew McIntyre down and out here as McIntyre's back into the ring. And up and over he goes again. Cena just trying to stay fired up, stay into this matchup. McIntyre, so much wear and tear on the bodies of these two competitors. McIntyre needs the ropes to get up. Cena here trying to outrun the world champion, and then he does. We said this was going to be a matchup of powerhouse versus powerhouse, and that's exactly what it's been. McIntyre off the counter, sends Cena to the corner. Now Drew sends Cena to the corner again. What a kick to the chest! outsmarted the challenger and John Cena may be gasping for air right now as McIntyre sends him for another slam. And we are still moving in this world championship match. McIntyre to the submission hold on Cena. Cena's dangerously close to the ropes for McIntyre's chances but Cena so unorthodox in his mind right now can't even get his wits about him. Can't even reach for the ropes. He's going to elect to try to power out of this submission hold. And that he does at least for a moment. And a right hand by Cena. A left. A left. A body shot. One to the jaw. Cena's just going for the haymakers. An old school bare knuckle brawl. A Glasgow kiss by McIntyre for the second time. No shot. Cena's getting up. No shot. Cena got the shoulder up again. The World Championship matchup is far from over. How the hell are these two men still got lungs, or still got breath left in their lungs, I should say, as Cena comes off the top, trying to take all the air out of Drew McIntyre. Cena has survived two Glasgow kiss, a Claymore, and now drops the leg off three high-risk maneuvers to win the world title, but McIntyre kicks out. The exhaustion setting in here at ringside, but I cannot imagine the exhaustion that is setting in for champion and challenger as we are nearing 20 minutes in this world championship affair. McIntyre trying to get to his legs on the outside. Cena's in the ring just awaiting the champion, trying to pick his spots, not waste any momentum, waste any breath. Down goes the champion again. Now, wait a minute, what has Cena got in mind? He's got his eyes locked on McIntyre. McIntyre barely to his feet. Luthez by Cena. John Cena going old school in the world champion right now, and Cena trying to rally. But is he trying to get himself fired up or not? McIntyre with a reversal. Claymore! McIntyre with the Claymore kick out of nowhere. Into the cover. That will finally do it. What a match for the World Heavyweight title.
If you ever question the prestige, if you ever question what it meant to hold the big gold belt, look no further than the fight that these two men just withstood inside of that very squared Here's circle. And still, world heavyweight champion, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre proving himself worthy of being a world champion yet again. That was an absolutely unbelievable performance. And there is no shame in losing for the franchise John Cena tonight. He will live to fight another day, and I'm sure he is not done on the hunt for his 17th world title. But as for tonight, the moment belongs to the chosen one just as it did on WrestleMania Saturday. McIntyre continues his destiny forward. Still, world heavyweight champion, the man of Friday Night SmackDown, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th, witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet and nothing can prepare you for the Backlash.